everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Flavia and today I thought I would just review my language learning goals for this year, well rather these past six months with you because I mean it's the end of the year and it just seems it seems fitting to do that right now. Basically I want to start off with the fact that when I started like properly language learning in June I set like a couple of goals but I don't know I just didn't really know how I was gonna s properly language learn, like how to how I was gonna properly like learn each language, how I was gonna go about it. So a lot of these goals I set for myself, they're actually not very, like I, a lot of them I didn't achieve because I just changed the way, I just changed my process. So yes, it's gonna be quite a realistic one and hopefully next year I'll set better goals and goals that are more fitting for my whole process because like now I actually know what works for me and what I think is best for each language. So let's get right onto the video and first of all we're going to start with French. Anyone who doesn't know French is my, apart from English, the language I know best. It's the language like because I basically count like Spanish and English to be like on the same level for me. Like I can change it up like really easily. I can like code switch really easily and I do co code switch a lot when I speak Spanish. And so I don't count English as a language, as like a second language, like it technically is, but I don't see it as like a language I'm learning. Because I'm really not, like I really already do know English. So French is like my like comfort language, basically, which basically means like it's the language you rely upon. Like, for example, when I don't know a word in Portuguese, I'll like speak, I like say it in French, most likely. And because it's it's just like where my brain goes, basically. So anyway, first goal was to be able to understand most books I've read. And actually, I think I've achieved this goal. I've been like, obviously, I need to concentrate and I need to like focus on what I'm doing. But I actually think I can now read most books I want. Maybe like not, maybe still not Madame Bovary, which is like a book I tried to read this year and I just couldn't. But maybe hopefully next year I'll be able to read it. But yeah, I mean, I'm think, I think I'm doing pretty good at that. So I'd say that's a tick, that's a goal passed. Then the second goal is to get into contemporary French books sun is killing me by the way and um, ish i've actually read quite a few like quite a few i mean like two like contemporary french books and i saw like a third one but i didn't really i didn't really get into it and i think i think i'd give this goal instead of like a green like i'm doing like a traffic light system by how like I achieved these goals and like the first goal it was green this goal I think it's orange because it's like I now know where to look I know authors I know like kind of I'm not completely lost as I was at the start of this year so that's gonna be good so I think that's a I have a good base for next year so I think it's gonna be an orange then the next uh, the next goal is to get through the DAVC1 Comprension de Doral which is just like the listening comprehension. And this is full on read. I have not even opened that book. And the reason is I thought I would, I didn't know when I was gonna sit the Dalsy one. I still don't really know. I think I'm gonna do it in the summer. And I just thought I would get, I'd start getting through it as I just treat it like another textbook. But actually, I think it'd be better for me if I just start using that book, like that resource, when I get closer to sitting the C1, you know, just so I can like properly practice for the exam with the appropriate resource and I don't like run out of the resource because I'm not buying another book for that. Um, so yeah, that's basically, that's basically why I haven't done that goal. I have not worked towards that goal. And it's a very practical reason, I think. So yeah. Then the next goal is to read five books in French. This was a year long goal that I had before I started properly language learning. And it was very hard. It was very hard, but I managed to do it. 
I just finished reading the last book, which was La Châtelaine de Vergie, which is for class, but I'm, I'm still counting it. <laughs> and yeah, I managed to do that. So that's amazing. And so that's a green, that's a bright, bright green goal. And then the next goal is I get into the habit of journaling in French. And the reason why I put this in orange is because I actually got into the habit of doing this in the summer, but I dropped it like dramatic dropping of this habit when I got to uni. And that was just because I also was journaling, like normal journaling less. So like journaling in French just seemed like even more of a of a hassle. So yeah, hopefully I get into that next next year. Because I mean, I really need to practice my writing. I haven't properly written in French since my A-levels. Well, since doing the writing, since journaling in the summer. So it's been, it's been a while. So those are all my French goals. And I had more like quarterly goals, but like for example, like do 10 journal entries. And I did that and I was green, but I thought it'd be better for this video if I just did an overall, like what I wanted to achieve in these six months, because I think that's just way more useful. Then for Portuguese, my goals were first off to sign up for Portuguese lessons, which I did. And I, I think I've done like six lessons already, which is great. Love it. Love my teacher, like Igor, he's amazing, like top notch. And I'm really happy I'm doing it through italki and just amazing experience, genuinely. So that's green. Then start journaling in Portuguese. I have not done this. I've actually never written in Portuguese. No, that's a lie. I wrote one paragraph in Portuguese. And I think I'm going to get into it next year. <laughs> I'm going to try and get into it just so I have some practice with writing because I, I just don't write anything in Portuguese. It's also not my goal to write in Portuguese, but I think it'll be useful just just to have that, that, just to practice. Then the next goal is to get through this book called Portuguese Grammar or Gramatica Portuguesa. I have not touched that book. I have not touched that book and it's a very practical reason because I was reading it and I was like, this doesn't seem useful for me at this point. Like, I just decided to approach language learning in a very different way. And this book just didn't serve me at all. So that's bright bread. <laughs> then the next goal is to learn 100 new words. And I haven't counted, like, I don't count how many words I know, but I actually think I've reached 100. So I'm putting that bright green. And then the last goal is to read The Alchemist in Portuguese. I got through like 40 pages and it's not that long a book. So it was like 30% of the book. And then I dropped it because it was just taking too long <laughs> to read it. And I was like picking it up maybe like a month after and then like reading a bit and it's just, I don't know. I never got into the hang of it. I've actually read The Alchemist. I read it in English and I really liked it, but it was just like, it was taking so long to read in Portuguese. So I just like kind of left it aside, but I think I might actually do it next year. Again, I'm leaving so much stuff for next year, but um, I actually realised this semester, trying to read some articles in Portuguese for class, that my reading was really lacking. So I'm actually going to focus a bit on, on the reading, just so I can read some articles and stuff and some primary sources more quickly and with more ease. Because, well, I mean, not with more ease, because I read it, I read it, like, I understand everything I read. I just struggle with the pace, like I read it very slowly and that's just not great. Especially when you're running out of time writing an essay. <laughs> so yeah. But these are those are my goals, what I did, what I didn't do, more of what I didn't do. But what did I actually what did I manage to achieve outside of these goals in my specific languages? Because I think that's also very important. Because maybe I didn't have these specific goals, but I managed to achieve these things. So the first thing and the most important thing for me, it's I got a lot more confident when speaking French. I grew a lot of confidence with speaking French and 
I think that's the best thing that has happened this past six months because I I would say I'm fluent in French. I'm not perfect. My French is not perfect, far from it, but I would say I'm fluent in French and that's just amazing. Just the thought of like being able to speak French to people like and obviously I make mistakes but I just have like a lot of ease and that's just it's just really nice and it's, it's something that I've always struggled with like speaking and having like confidence in myself that I can speak so just to have gained some confidence just it's amazing it's I can't begin to and like to show you like to tell you how how much of a relief it is really then I also I I'm more involved with like French culture and lang and the language itself like I re like I try to keep up with French news not very well I don't really keep up with news very well and I like but I do keep up with like entertainment things and language like I listen to a lot of French and that's amazing and have like a lot of French media that I really enjoy so that's like music YouTube channels specifically YouTube channels and it's just been great really and then I've also started to interact with more Brazilian media and by more I mean just some Brazilian media and I'm loving it I like I'm obsessed with the podcast Mamilos it's amazing would 100% recommend it and that's just really fun I've also gained a lot of curiosity for these languages and how they work and just like specific because they're romance languages and I speak Spanish so it's just like I don't know they like subtle differences and especially I've complained a lot about my about the French uni course I'm taking which is like the only French course available at my uni and I've complained a lot but actually now that I've finished the first semester of it I can say it's like the lack of French language, like French, like contact with the French language is bad. Like my classes aren't in French. Next semester they are in French, but it's just a bit like, yeah, you could, I could, I could be listening to French right now and you're just teaching me in English, but whatever. But it has made me more curious for the language and for how, for like translation. I find translation a lot more interesting now. I used to hate it at school. And now it's just like so much it's quite fun i really liking it like just the subtle differences between the languages well not subtle like some of them are quite just seeing how ink because like, you're not just translating into ink like you're not just translating french you're translating it into another language and just seeing how those two like languages work so differently it's it's really like fascinating furthermore i now know how i want to study for these languages so i can set better goals next year goals that work better for me and that's amazing and also finally i have incorporated language learning into my daily life or during term time i'd say i'm trying to incorporate language learning into my daily life and that's amazing and that's really really great for me because I don't know it's just it's just cool it's cool to be like constantly interacting with the language and i just really i really love languages and it's great like it's a great new hobby really <laughs> and i mean you guys like it when i talk about languages so it's also great for my other hobby which is youtube so that's amazing anyway this is the end of the video it's been a bit nah it's been all right but anyway it's quite a I think I really enjoy these kinds of videos, so hopefully you enjoyed it too. And if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!